good evening slash morning slash afternoon slash lunchtime slash elevenses, whatever time it is where you are. Welcome. We're here. I'm doing a modding workshop again now. The eagle-eyed, sharp-eared viewers among you may realise, but Joseph, last time we did a modding workshop, you said that this was going to be the last modding workshop before uh, Lucian version 1.6.0 came out. And you would be right. I did say that. However, you may also observe, Lucian version 1.6.0 is not out, because it's not done. Because I'm slow, and lazy, and it's taking ages. It's not because, well, I don't know. It's, it, there's a lot of work involved in it. Um, and there's some stuff I'm working on that I can't tell you about, but it's very exciting. And I'm hoping to put it in the update. And uh, I don't want to tell you too much about it, but, you know, I want it to... I want I want you guys to experience it for the first time in the mod rather than me showing it to you in advance. So what I was doing was over the last few weeks we haven't had Thinky Thursday because I don't want to show you that stuff on screen uh, on stream um, before it comes out in the mod. So I've been working on Lucian without streaming it. However, the Thinky Thursday streams are the best streams. You know these are fun. I like doing this, and I know they tend to go down quite well with you guys. I think um, so. I thought. Why don't I start doing them again? I can't show you Lucian version 1.6.0 because that's got to stay secret. But what we can do is work on more patches. And one of the patches, uh, you know, that I can then release at the same time as Lucian version 1.6.0. Version um, so this you can see. And this is cool. Um, now, one of the ones that has been asked for a lot is the Saints and Seducers Creation Club file. And it's, it's a lot of fun. We played it through on the uh, Lucian the Dragonborn Let's Play series uh ooh, months and months ago now there's another thing i need to get on with and haven't done but um we played it through and it was a lot of fun and i really want to do interactions with it i really want to get lucian um saying things about it because i think especially with the creation club stuff where uh, there's no voice acting adding voice acting to it really adds value i think to me anyway in my opinion i think it significantly improves it when you've got a character commenting on it so I'd re I've really wanted to do a Saints and Seducers patch for a while, and I've been putting it off. But I thought, now's a good time to do it. I thought, like, let's do it. And um, as soon as this stream finishes, I will close down our patch that we're working on, and I'll open up 1.6.0 again, and I'll carry on working on the update, because that's my big priority, is to get that update out to you guys. But yeah, in the meantime, there's no reason why we can't have modding workshop streams working on patchy stuff for as long as it takes until I can get version 1.6.0 ready to release. And I do promise there's fun stuff in it that I think you're going to like. I think it will be worth the wait when it does come out. And I'm sorry to keep pushing that deadline back. I know I wanted to have it out by Christmas and I didn't do that. And I'm sorry for ruining Christmas for you all. But I will. It's, it's getting there. You know, I can't I can't tell you when, but it will it will be ready and it'll be soon, TM. We're not talking 2022, we're not talking summer, we're talking like within the next short period of time, in the matter of months, not not loads of months, but, but soon-ish. I'm sorry I can't be more specific than that. Now, we are gonna open. Oh, this is the thing. I'm trying to find it. I don't know whether any of you know it. Do you know what the file is called? I'm looking for the, um... Uh, Saints and Seducers file. And what the heck have they called it? I have no idea. Anybody know? Yeah, there is a search bar and I put in Saints and Seducers and it doesn't come up, so they obviously haven't called it that. So the question is, what have they called it? <laughs> I'll have to look it up. Oh, do you think it's Advogs? This one. Yay, thanks friends. Okay, we want that. And we also want Lucien. Bonjour, je m'appelle Lucien Flavius. Thank you for your invaluable assistance. Oh, that's nice of you to say, Mr. So-called. Hey there, Delilah, don't you worry about the distance. Okay. So, I've opened this up now, and I'm going to use my usual little trick. There are way better ways to do this, but this is just my little, my little trick. What I like to do to get it all working, which is just grab an NPC or something, copy as override into new file, and this is an ESL flagged ESP. And we're going to call it Lucian Saints and 
seducers patch. Did it. And that's created an ESL, ESP, ESL flagged ESP with all the necessary dependencies in the right order. Except we also need to add... Uh, where is it? Here we are. Add masters. Lucien. Bonjour. There we go. We need to make sure they're in the right order. Which they are. So jobs are good. And so now I just delete this record that we don't need. Is the Saints and Seducers mod good? Yes! It's my favourite creation club thing. I think. Bonsoir! He doesn't speak French. Not really. Un petit peu de français. I mean, if you want to see what it's like, you could check out my Lucian the Dragonborn series on YouTube where we play through it in character as Lucian. On YouTube. I like Dawnfang Dustfang too. I think I might do that patch next after we've done Saints and Seducers. Shadow Wolf, you have to get in shameless plugs, otherwise, because no one's going to plug plug my stuff for me. So I've got to do it. It's the only way you ever get anywhere, trying to create content and stuff. Right, so we've done that now, so I can close that down. Hey there, Delilah. Do, 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 do. Right, we're going to want Lucian.esp. Where is it? Nobody knows. Oh, no, we don't. We want this one that we just created. Lucian Saints and Seducers. Set as active file. Created by Joseph Russell. Lucian Saints and Seducers. Patch version 1. Point, and this is going to be 6.0. Bonsoir. Je m'appelle Lucian Flavius. Je suis un scientifique, un philosophe, un sorcier, un sorcier amateur et une quelque sorte un musicien, même si je pose, je suppose que c'est plus un passe-temps. Bien, non? What commentary can you do about a weapon? All sorts. Look at this weapon. What a fascinating weapon. I say. Etc. Uh, okay. No, this is in fact an English stream. Just sometimes we go all uh, continental. For funsies. In it. Bravo. Bravi, bravi, bravissimo. Hey, Bobzilla. Will Lucian try to chat up saints or seducers like Octavius would? No, Lucian wouldn't know how to chat up anything ever. Thank you so much for the bits, Yummy. That's very lovely of you. Love the little doggos. Very cute. Thank you. Really generous. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's a very handy thing to do, Shadow Wolf. Well spotted, Ocean's Rider. Always happy to sing, Phantom. Hey, danger -o. That is very strange. But I hope you're doing okay. Thanks for the bits, Ocean's Rider. So we're going to start by creating a quest. That's what we've got to do here. Everything, any dialogue in the game's got to come in a quest. So we're going to do it as a quest. That's how it works. Shout out from Stitcher to Morgan on the Discord for commissioning a plushie from them. It's going to be so cute. Very exciting. Right, I think, since Grey is awake now, do you want to come and have your treats? Come on. Look. Let's just go big camera. Come on, you. She say hi. 
Right. Ugh. Look. Look, move my tea. You don't want my tea. Treats time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Hold your horses. No, where are you going? They're, they're literally here. D do I have to pick you back up now? There you go. She is the queen of thieves. She is terrible. Yeah, you are. So this is my cat, Grey, for those of you who haven't met. She features a lot in these streams. And if that's not a reason to tune in, I don't know what is. Oh, all gone. That was quick. Wolf bows down. Did they touch the sides? Bye. She's got places to be, I'm afraid. Where in the world have you been hiding? Really, you were perfect. I only wish I knew your secret. Who is this new tutor? Right, so this is going to be J.R. Lucian, C.C., Saints, and Seducers. That's what I'm going to call this quest. Can't quite remember my, um, my standard way of doing that uh, for the other ones, so I don't know. I might call it J.R. Zero. Luc no, no, we'll sit with J.R. Lucian. Father once spoke of an angel. I used to dream he'd appear. Etc, etc. She is very photogenic, isn't she? Right, so... We're gonna fill this out with some stages. Gotta have some stages, gotta love these arbitrary numbers. Let's start with zero, then we'll go for ten, then we'll go for twenty. Important thing when you're doing quest stages, for those of you who are, you know, I'll make this educational, for those of you interested in making mods yourself. Um, always want to leave a gap, never go stage one, two, three, because what if in the future you just suddenly decide you want to insert a stage in between previous ones? You've got to have a gap there, because you can't have decimals. So, we're going to have a bunch of stages. And then if I ever need to insert any other ones later, I'll call them like 65. And then again, I can call them like 67. You know, try and have a bit of a bit of space. You alright? I think Grey wants to go. I'm going to let her go. Give me a sec. And just like that, she slipped away into the night. So for those of you who've not tuned into one of these before, this is a modding workshop. And what that means is you guys are so free to just ask questions. Any questions you like, fire them at me. Um, if you're working on your own mods, you've got your own um, your own ideas, uh, you don't know how to do something that you want to do to do with modding or voice acting or writing or anything, now's the time to ask. Um, and I will do my best to answer any and all questions that you guys do ask and I'll show you stuff if you want to see tutorials of how to do things, I'll happily explain. Um, my brain is ready for picking. Uh, so yeah, just um, just let me know if there's anything in particular you want to do. But in the meantime, I'm just going to crack on with making this patch for Lucian. But yeah, at any point, do feel free to derail the, uh, the stream, and I will do my best to help you out. Similarly, if there's just anything you've ever wondered about Lucian, you know, you can consider this a sort of AMA kind of thing. Ask me anything within reason, so long as it's not too personal. Steady on. Right, so, here we've got all the tabs and everything. How am I going to start this? Well, what we're going to do to start with, I'm going to switch us back across the camera for a sec. Because I'm going to open up the internet, and I want to open up my special internet profile so you guys don't see all my bookmarks. Because it's got my online banking and everything on there. <laughs> uh, which I don't really want you to see. So we're going to do that. There you go. That's what I want. And then I can put you back onto the screen with camera. Night tense, chamomile. Have a good slip. 
So we're going to go UESP, which is the most useful thing. How wealthy is Lucian? Spectacularly. Essentially infinite. Well, except he doesn't always have that cash on him, but, you know, his family are essentially infinitely wealthy, and they will send him money as he needs. Which will allow him to give some to you. So we want Saints and Seducers Creation Club file, which is this one. Now, it's been quite some time since I last played this, so I might need to re-familiarise myself with a little bit of how it works. Ha! No. <laughs> no, you can't beg his family for money. Right, so the first quest is Balance of Power, that's it. And you speak to Rissard, and Rissard, rather than explaining to you what's going on, gives you a note. Because that's normal. Uh, <laughs> the limitations of the Creation Club and its lack of voice acting. So, we're going to have our first comment after you have read Rissard's note. I think. Yeah, it would be brilliant if it did have acting, but I can see why they've not done it. Because of localization. Um, considering how much profit they must turn over. Oh, no, it's not Sony's fault, no. Considering the, uh, the creation club and how successful it is, it's always been intended as a smaller enterprise. And if they were to add voice acting, they would have had to add voice acting in every language that Skyrim is available in. And the cost of doing that would be ridiculous. You know, it just doesn't, doesn't, you'd have to have 24 different voice actors or however, however many languages you'd want. Um, and that just would be completely disproportionate for the size of the, of the mod otherwise. So no, that's, that's why it makes sense. Um, if they made them into much bigger budget things like proper DLC, then yeah, they could and should do that and it would be great, but they can't just do it in English and not any other languages. Because they need to, they need to support all the languages that the game, uh, that the game supports. So I know what you're talking about, Mutalisk. That does not allow people to make voice acting. That allows people to create voice lines that are computer performed. There's no acting in it, so it does mean it's very limited. It's great as a tool, so it's been, people keep suggesting it to me to say, oh, you could use it to make interactions between Lucian and X NPC, and no, I can't. I could use it to maybe patch over uh, if I was splicing together dialogue, which I hate doing anyway, but if I was splicing together dialogue and I needed one or two particular words to link a sentence together, then yeah, I could do that. I could use that tool for that, it'd be fantastic, but there's no way that I'm ever going to do, uh, I'm ever going to use an AI voice tool to voice sentences for my mod because that just isn't going to be up to the quality standards that I, I hold Lucian to, really. I always try and make him seem professional and uh, I'm not just going to have a robot reading lines because <laughs> it's just not, not what you want. But it is an awesome tool. It's very cool. Um, it's very cool that it exists. Yotam Randall, before you get too excited about your uh, channel points, uh, Grey has already had her five treats for the stream. So uh, you won't be able to redeem that for any more. You'll find it just returns an error because it's limited to five per stream. Otherwise, she'll get fat. And possibly throw up. Yeah, I really hope that doesn't happen, Mutalisk. I really don't think AI-generated voice acting is the way forward. It's not going to produce good results for any mods. Ever. You know, if, if mods all start using that for their voice acting, I'm going to be really sad. Because <laughs> it's not the way forward. Uh, is there a limit to ESL files? Yeah, I think it's several thousands. So essentially, no. Well, fundamentally, Aosana, uh, how do you teach an AI to act? Like, how can you create something that instills lines with emotion when we humans who are capable of emotion still can't do a perfect job at it? You know, we, we, we struggle. A lot of people can't act at all. You know, there's just... Uh, to, to have a computer 
accurately perform. You know, not just play lines, but actually perform with emotion. Is, is a ridiculously challenging task. I don't know whether it will ever be able to do that. Maybe one day. But I'd have thought to achieve an actually convincing emotional performance surely would mean that the complexity of the AI has got to a ridiculous level where you're sort of, you know, what else could you achieve if you were capable of doing that? That would be a ridiculously clever computer. Maybe we'd be at the point where we're looking at true AI by then. I don't know. But I certainly don't think uh, voice acting is something that you're going to get from a computer anytime soon. As a placeholder, sure. It's better than it's better than uh, than just subtitles. Better than completely unvoiced dialogue. Um, but uh, in my opinion, should never be included in a released product. Hey, Doodle Saw, welcome to the stream. Right. So we're gonna make our first line. Now I'm a little bit rusty at this. So let's have a look. You heard Elder Scrolls 6 will have a lot of generated stuff. What do you mean by that? They're not going to be using AI to generate their voice acting. That's just definitely not going to happen at all. Also, they haven't released that kind of information. If they did, it would be all over the internet. So I think what you've just heard is an unfounded rumour. Right, so we want to see Rissard's note. Remind ourselves what's going on here. The roads have been unkind to this one, plagued by outlaws. I'm not going to read the whole thing in his voice, but okay. Outlaws on the route, guards travel with Rassad, bandits attacking, strange golden weapons and gleaming armor. Do, 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 do. The saints would like to browse your wares today. I'm reading about the saints bandits. And then we've got the seducer bandits as well. Okay. Sounds like those bandits are giving poor Rena. How do I spell Rissard? Rissard a terrible time. I think. We ought to sort it out for him. Don't you? There we go. Hello, TNGT Studios. Welcome to the stream. Right. Bum. Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. Oh, that's very exciting, Mr. So Cool. Do make a follower and do let me know when you've made them. I'm always very happy to record interactions when I have time. Right, and this is going to be. Oh, we'll just leave it on neutral. Okay, now we need to condition this. Uh, we're going to start with a script for it. Get owning quest. Dot set stage. Ten. So this is going to be the first line to ever play about Saints and Seducers. We're going to condition it on a get stage. And this is going to be this quest. So JR Lucian CC equals zero. So this is only going to work when the stage is set to zero. And when it plays, it's going to set the stage to 10. So what this is going to mean is it's essentially functionally only going to play once. Unless something goes badly wrong. Now what you'll notice is this has come up as JR zero. This is bad. JR0 is my prefix for the main Lucian mod. I forgot to set a prefix for this new mod, which I should have done. So you'll have to bear with me a minute while I sort this out. I'm going to put you back onto camera mode because I need to fiddle, just open up uh, 
some documentation that might be spoilery for the main mod. So just give me a sec. Thanks for the follow, Doodle Saw. Basically, uh, every mod you make has to have an individual unique prefix. JR0, JR1, JR2, whatever. Uh, so all my mods start with JR, and then they have a unique number on the end. And if you don't do that, then it means you can have, theoretically, two scripts from two different mods with the same name that are going to overwrite each other and conflict. That's really bad. So we need to avoid that. Now, I have a list somewhere here of what is what. Oh, no, but I've been silly with it, and I've not kept proper track. Pfft, Joseph, you fool. Um, okay. Anybody who's been watching my tutorial series, can you remember what prefix I did for Jacuzzi? Can you remember what the number was? It was JR something. Otherwise, I can look it up. What prefix did I use for Jacuzzi? Help me out here, internet. Was it JR11? Thanks, Batty. Much appreciated. Hey, 2Ds. Hey, Drummer Boy. Shout out from Ayasana to the Wabajack community for introducing them to the modding scene. 14 or 16? Blimey, did I get that far? Let's see. Plague of the Dead. Ruin's Edge. We can work this out otherwise. Saturalia isn't on the list. Shadowrend is there, JR6. Stendar's Hammer, JR5. Umbra, JR3. Adventurer's Backpack isn't on the list. But that doesn't have scripts. Arcane Archer Patch, JR4. Bone Wolf Patch. Hmm. That isn't on the list. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll go back through my YouTube channel and have a look. See, this is why you should, why it's good to have everything uh, documented. JR12, very useful to know, Sacrile- Uh, Batty, thank you. Hey, Sacrilegious, welcome to the stream. Thanks, Batty, that's really helpful. So I'll just be a sec then checking what I used for my last Lucian patch. What was the last Lucian patch? What was the last one I released? Let me have a look. <sighs> Bone Wolf. Was it Bone Wolf? It was Bone Wolf, wasn't it? Yeah. And for Bone Wolf, what prefix did we use? Just watching my own video here. Because Jacuzzi was 12, so was Bone Wolf 13 or 11? Because it's witchcraft, wicked witchcraft, and although I know it's strictly taboo, those fingers in my head. Mm. Give me a minute. I shan't be long. I will find it. I know what I can do, actually. I can check in my backup of the file. Joseph, you are not keeping up to date with all your stuff. You know, I need better organization. Am I thinking of collabing with another mod voice actor for a stream? No, don't know what I would do with that. Right, Bone Wolf, data. Scripts. Bone Wolf is JR13. So, Jacuzzi was JR12. Bone Wolf was JR13. 
Which means Saints and Seducers needs to be JR14. Woohoo, we got there. Right, close that. Switch back across the screen with camera. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear that. Empty it. Compile. It's blank. Now we can remove it. Script's gone. Good. Good. Okay. Save. Uh, you can stop playing that YouTube video now because we don't need it anymore. Bring up the chat so I can read what you're doing. Good. Okay. Now I want to go to File Preferences. Uh, scripts. Prefix. What did I say? I said JR14 is the unique prefix for this mod, I hope. There's JR14 done. Now we can open this up again. With this open up again, we can click on the line. We've got that there. We can open that. That's fine. Right. If I now go get owning quest, please work. Dot set stage 10. Compile. No, it's still coming up as JR0 because I, I messed it up. <laughs> I goofed. Okay. Remove. No, 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 no. I know what we need to do. Clear that. Compile that. Remove that. Okay. I'm going to copy it. Saving is very important. Yes, Yellow Ego Cap, this is correct. Shout out to the Sky Oblivion team for releasing the second developer diary and for working on Sky Oblivion. And also shout out to Josper, that's me, Joseph, uh, <laughs> for making Lucian and making amazing streams with a heart and the Lucian sweet roll email. Thank you, Yotam Randall, that's lovely. Right, so now I've created a new line here. And in theory, this should work now. Hey, JR14. Good. So now we just need to delete the old one, which I will do by just marking it for deletion. That says deleted. It'll be gone next time we save and reopen. Yes, no, my name is in fact Hosepuch. That is actually my name. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. The get stage is making sure that this line hasn't yet played. Good. Now we want to do a get stage. And this is going to be on... Now, what's the quest called? Ah! Stop it. Open the blimmin'. There you go. Right. This is called CCBGSSSE025 underscore quest A. Nice and memorable there. Definitely not going to be confusing at all. CC... We want quest A... And we want to know that the stage for that has to be greater than or equal to 200. Which is what it'll be when you've read Rassad's note. And also less than 300. No. Wrong. Greater than or equal to 300, which is what it'll be when you've read Rissard's note. Come on, there we go. And less than... Ooh, blimey. Less than 400. Yeah. This gets very complicated because it's two separate... Okay, we're gonna... <laughs> right, so we've got the saints bit. Which is up here. For stages 200 to like 400. 500. No, 400. And then we've got the seducers bit. Which is down here. And these can be, both be done in either order. They run parallel to one another. Which makes it a right pain to work with. Because I can't just say get stages less than this. It doesn't just increase in order. That's annoying. But it's fine. I'll work it out. We just have to be a bit careful. Come on. So less than 400, greater than 300. Okay, now we need to condition this so that it plays at a sensible time and place. And a good way of doing that is to say, get in, in no, is in interior equals zero. So this line will only play when you're outside. Now that's very helpful. 
for making stuff work. Good, okay, so that what that will do now is that means it won't play inside, which means it's less likely to be annoying, because usually when you're inside, you're doing something, talking to someone, often. You know, making it only play when it's outside just makes it slightly less intrusive, because that tends to be when you're travelling through the world. So that's good. Okay, now, the rest of the conditions I'm going to apply are going to apply to every line in this entire quest. So everything you put on this quest dialogue condition stack at the top of the quest applies this to every line attached to this quest. All suffers with these same conditions. So, our first one is going to be get is ID. JR Lucian equals 1. So that means only Lucian can say all the lines of dialogue that are contained within this quest. And the next one we're going to add is, is sneaking equals zero. And that means none of these lines will be said by Lucian while he's sneaking, which should keep him quiet while he's sneaking along. And those two should do it. Oh, I'm also going to add a get stage. JR Lucian intro. Greater than or equal to 15. Which should stop him saying these things before you've actually recruited him. No, I know what will work even better than that, actually. Check that he's recruited. Get in faction current follower faction equals 1. So he will only say these lines when he's not sneaking, when he is recruited, and when he is called Lucian, which is what he's called. So there we go. That's all sorted. Uh, let me catch up on the chat. Did I take inspiration from another follower model when creating Lucian? Yeah, Inigo. I learned a huge amount of how to how to mod by studying Inigo in the creation kit, because it's an absolute gold standard for uh, follower modding. And yeah, uh, Inigo, I think, is the inspiration for pretty much all follower mods these days. Because it doesn't get better than, uh, than that. Posture check, thank you. Does Lucian have an opinion on the war? Well, yeah, he's an Imperial, and his family are Imperials, and his mother is a captain in the Imperial Legion. So, yeah, he's very much on the Imperial side. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am making noise. I'm so sorry. It's a fun line. Ooh, line from Dwemacog about packaging. Give me a sec. Let me just make sure I've sorted out these conditions. I'm happy with those. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. That all looks good. For the moment, it looks like that's not going to be a problem. So that's good. One thing I should do here, actually, is set some priority. Set priority to 40 for this quest, so it's not stupidly low. Okay, and I'm going to hit OK, and we're going to save. Right. Noob question about packaging from Dwemacog. When packaging a mod that has scripts, how do you add the scripts? I tried data, script, source, my PEX file. No, no, your PEX files need to be in scripts. So it should be data, scripts. That's where all your PEX files go. And then your source files, which are your PSC files, you don't need to include them. They're only useful to other people who will want to look at your mod. So I don't include my PSC files for Lucian because it's a waste of space. Um, I make Lucian as efficient as possible because so many, um, like on consoles and on people's PCs, they have such space constraint limits, you know, and it's already a massive mod. I don't include anything that you, I try not to include anything that you don't need. So I don't include the PSC files, but you can regenerate them with other tools if you're really interested in seeing how Lucian Scripts works. Um, if you are going to include the PSC files, the convention for Skyrim SE is to put them under Data Source Scripts. For Ellie, it was Data Scripts Source, so they changed the order. I think it was just a mistake. But if you want to do that, it should be under Source and then Scripts. But don't bother including them unless you feel that you want to. Um, but yeah, your PEX files have to be under data scripts. Is there a way to prevent a follower's AoE from hurting other followers so they don't try to kill each other? No. Will Lucian mention Octavius in 1.6? Yes. 
What are quests mods that you've enjoyed playing through? I love Wheels of Lull. I love The Forgotten City. Um, I love Moon Path to Elsewhere has always been one of my favourites. I'm a big fan of Worm's Tooth. That's amazing. Uh, I like Falscar. Carved Brink. I still haven't played all the way through, but it has such an amazing environment in there. It's gorgeous. As a set piece, it's amazing. I love that. Will there be more interactions between Lucy and Kaiden? Uh, yes, yeah, so the Kaiden mod is being worked on by a third party, not Liv now. Um, somebody else has taken over. Um, and uh, I, they, they've reached out to me to do more Kaiden interactions. I, I'm not against it. It's something I'd like to look into doing at some point. But I have so many other priorities right now of other features that I want to add to Lucian. That revisiting existing interactions isn't something that's on my immediate radar. They already have a lot of scenes there. Um, I may expand them in the future. Um, but as I say, I want to got want to focus on new stuff at the moment. Did Worm's Tooth get an update recently? Really? That's cool. If you want to get caught up on the Octavius law. Um, you can check out all the VODs for my live streams are all on the Joseph Russell live YouTube channel. Link to from my main YouTube channel, which is uh, Joseph Russell. Um, Joseph Russell live is there and that's got past, it's got VODs, HD VODs of all the streams I've ever done. So if you want to go back and check out the story of Octavius, you can go back through those old streams if you're interested. Um, similarly, if you ever miss a stream, I'm, I'm, I'm quite behind in uploading them. Um, because it takes ages. So I'm working on catching up and I will try and catch up over the next few weeks and months. Um, but yeah, all the old streams are there. Because they get taken down off Twitch after, oh, I don't know how long they stay on Twitch for, like a month or so? Month and a half? Two months? I don't know. There's a, there's a finite limit to how long they stay on Twitch. Whereas on YouTube, they stay up forever. It's on Reddit, is it? Because I know he put it on like archive.net or something before, didn't he? Yes, Legacy of the Dragonborn has... I love Legacy of the Dragonborn, that's amazing, yeah. They're working on Odyssey of the Dragonborn, which is a sort of sequel. Will Lucian have full dialogue for Skyrim Extended Cut, and also will that said dialogue be ready in day one? Uh, yes, he will have full dialogue. Well, full, I don't know. He'll have commentary for Skyrim Extended Cut. Uh, no, that probably won't be ready day one. But I don't know what their release schedule is. I don't know when they're planning on doing it. All I can tell you is I haven't started work on it yet. Because I have so many other things on my plate right now. But I would like to have, there, there, I will definitely be doing it because it's in the trailer uh, and it's a cool idea. But I, I have no idea whether it's um, going to be in there for day one or not. But I certainly wouldn't want to promise that. Yes, he did. Right, okay. So that was our line for Bandits, Rizard, you know, sort of starting thing to get you set on the quest. So now we're going to create a new one. And I always do that by copying. Well, I often do that by copying because when you copy it, it keeps all the conditions, which is nice and handy because you're usually just tweaking the conditions rather than wanting to create them all from scratch. And it also copies the script for you automatically, which is handy. Uh, especially if you're keeping it similar. Right. What's the next bit then? Brave the Beyond, World of Warcraft, Shadowlands, by now, no thank you. Nothing against World of Warcraft, I just don't play it. And also, please don't put ads on my stream. I have my own ads. So, first thing's gonna be... Oh, this is gonna be fiddly. I hate it when they do things in parallel, it makes it so much harder to comment on. Um, okay. Stage 400 says, I've located the bandits that call themselves the Saints. So that's when you arrive at the camp, you get this new objective to defeat the Saints bandit leader. So to be honest, as soon as you reach this stage, you're locked in combat with the Saints already. So there's not much point in me adding a line of idle dialogue for this bit here. No, Lucian's home is intended to be Doomswithar, Doodle Saw. So I wouldn't want to give him a home in, in the uh, Dragon Legacy of the Dragonborn Museum. Uh, 
Uh, that's that's part of the story. You know, certainly when his third quest comes out. Um, right. Investigate the Saints Bandit camp. What? Oh, I see. So we locate, we locate the camp, we defeat the leader, then you get investigate, investigate the campsite. So what we ought to have next really is combat commentary now for when you're fighting the saints. Righto. Let's do that then. So this is going to be under combat. Mm, Gray wants to come in. Come on. No, Yotam Randor, I didn't say that. Lucian is the Lucian's new quest says dungeon is not in version 1.6.0. Please do not expect that to be in the new version because it is not. It's coming in the future, but it's not coming in version 1.6.0. Hopefully coming later this year though. The thief does return. But no, it won't be a second home for Lucian. Right. What's an intelligent, unique thing for Lucian to say to the Saints Bandits? No worries, I'm just trying to manage expectations so that none of you are massively disappointed when the new update comes out and it doesn't have a new dungeon in it. I change my mind on what I'm going to have in new updates all the time because I, I have to work on this just on working on things that I find fun. It's the only way to do this successfully. You know, if I stick to a rigid schedule of saying, now I will work on this, now I must work on this next, I just lose interest and will stop making the mod. You know, it, it's, got to, it's got to be led by what I find fun in order for me to keep producing content. Right, so this is going to be the first thing he's going to say. So when you're fighting the saints, so we need some kind of quest related thing on this. So so you're the saints. Rissard sends his regards. So much about Rissard sends his regards. Ooh. That sounded edgy, didn't it? Yes, it does mean that, Ayasana. I'm going to write those in a bit. Hello. She looked like she was going to jump on my lap for a second there, and she didn't. So, for this one, we need to condition it to say, get stage. J.R. Lucian. No, we don't want this anymore. We now want... No, we do. Oh, it's complicated, isn't it? Hang on. Presumably, this is the problem, right? Presumably, if you encounter the bandit camps before speaking to Rissard, can you skip that part of the quest? Does the quest just start if you reach the camps on your own? It probably does, doesn't it? That's annoying. That makes it even harder to work around. Congratulations, Anxious Ace, on acquiring coffee. I don't know why I put an accent on for that, but there you go. Right, so get stage. J R uh, Lucian. I'm going to be hospedge forever now, aren't I? CC, St. Sans Seducers. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this, I've decided, is I'm going to start by conditioning this 
on being equal to 10. So this one only works if Lucian has said his first comment, which he'll only say if you've read Rassard's note. No. Double back. Not get stage. Get stage done. J.R. Lucian. CC. Saints and Seducers. So get stage done. Stage 10. Equals 1. So what that means is he will only say this line if he's already said the previous line. Which he'll only say if you've read the note. Good. That's one line done. We may need to re revisit this. Uh, we're going to do get owning quest. See you, doodle saw. Right. Get owning quest dot set stage 20. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to call this stage 20. Get owning quest dot set stage 20. Good. Makes sense. Happy with that. See you, check. So we're now also to make sure this line only plays once. We're going to say get stage things introduces 20 equals zero. Which means this line will only play once. Okay, good. Good. So now what we are now going to have is another line which will play if you meet the saints and haven't yet had his note. Yes. Copy. And that stage is going to be 30. See how this gets complicated? Hydrate, certainly will, thank you. So this one is now going to be get stage done 10, i.e. having read the note, equals 0. So we're assuming you haven't read the note. And get stage done J.R. Lucian C.C. Saints and Seducers equals equals uh, 20, 30 now. Equals 0, 30. Yes. Okay. Hey, Stitcher. Now I'm going to just, before I carry on with this, I need to go back to the other one because I need to condition this to only play. Oh, to only play if you're battling the Saints and Seducers bandits. And to figure out what that means, I have to open SSE Edit and take a look at the implementation for the Saints and Seducers patch. The creation kit's not evil, it's fine. It's just it's just the business of modding is complicated sometimes. Um Advergs. Well, I don't think it's evil because uh, Lucian wouldn't exist without it. And I'm quite pleased that it exists, so there we go. Right, okay. What did I want to do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, is there a faction for it? No, it's one faction for both the Saints and the Seducers. Of course it is. That would be far too easy. Okay. NPC. Okay, there's a whole bunch of different kinds of Golden Saints. So that doesn't work. Okay. So, we... An up-to-date official tutorial. It doesn't really matter. Um, there's the, no, None of the uh, old tutorials are out of date, Grunge and Roses. Um, they're all still in date. This creation cat hasn't changed that much since it was released. Yes, I love Would I Lie to You. It's amazing. One of the best shows on telly. Okay, right. New plan. How am I going to know... Whether he's fighting a saints and seducer, saint a gold specifically a golden saints bandit and not a dark seducers bandit. Uh, see your faith. How are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? It can't use a faction, but we can we can check for their armor. Is the stream buffering for anyone else, or is it just a singular B?
Gold and Saint Armour. Now there are different types of here, playable and unplayable. Why? Unclear. Why have we got two different kinds? And which ones are used by the bandits? Yes! Good shout, Batty! We're going to go back to the NPC. Yes, unplayable might be for the summonables. Golden Saint Archer. We don't want that. We want a Saint Golden Bandit. Golden Bandit. Now, what do you wear? You use the template. Elchar Golden Bandit Missile. Okay. What is Grey doing? She's rummaging with something. Oh, hey, cat! This is, this is definitely not work, but I'm thrilled to see you or read you or whatever. Hope you're having a good evening. Oh, which is the... Mm. Which is the... How? What? Where? It's got to say the outfit somewhere. Somewhere in here. Well, that's very kind of you to say. It is admittedly a low bar, but I will take that and run with it. So thank you. Okay. It's not in there. It's not in there. It's got to say it somewhere. Unless it's done with scripts. Golden Saints bow, arrow, curios, golden bandit, critical shot. Does anybody know? Hang on. What is she? I think Grey's just entered into the bottom of my bed. I think she's found a hole. By the sound of the scrabbling, I think I think what she's done is she's found a way to get into the cavity under my bed. And I can hear her scratching around under there. I might just see if I can lend her a hand. Just just bear with me a minute. She has been extracted. <laughs> Do you hear her words? So she was sort of kind of in the um, my bedside table. She'd sort of gone round the back and put herself into one of the drawers. So maybe don't do that. See you, cat. Happy working. Hope it all goes well. Right, so these guys, the summonables, have the unplayable ones. She's so cute, I'm crying. <laughs> if you say so. Hey, Junkie Colors, by the way. Welcome to the stream. 
Okay. It's not in there. This is baffling. I can only assume it's given to them via a script. Because they have their weapons. Unless they have an outfit template. Sorry, this cannot be remotely entertaining to watch me just looking through this, but I'm, I'm doing my best here. So, golden bandit armor missile outfit. Good. Right. That is referenced by these guys. That's what we want. And it is golden bandit helmet 100 good yes and this is not the unplayable one. Oh, this is a leveled item and then from there we go on to the helmet which is the playable one and not the unplayable one yes so so if i check whether the npcs we're fighting are wearing any of these items can we assume that they are golden saints not necessarily, because the player could be using a mod to give the Golden Saint armor to more bandits, other than the main ones we're talking about. So how am I going to check that they definitely are? And know that they are? Yeah, it's possible it could exist in the future, Nuna, or indeed the player could use the console to give it to someone. You know, there are, there are, it's it's a feasible scenario that the next person you fight who's wearing this armor may not be one of the bandits in question. So what I can do. No, you see, there is no race just for the bandits. And they don't have a common faction. Ah! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. This is what I can do. I can check if they're wearing the Golden Saints armor and are in the Saints and Seducers bandit faction. And if both those things are true, then that means the only scenario where it could not be right is if somehow you are up against a Seducer bandit who's wearing Saints armor. And the chances of that happening are ridiculously slim. And that would be a stupid mod if someone did decide to make that. So if we do that... Then we're away. See? Wizardry. Right. We're in business. Get in faction. Nope. Get in faction. Uh, what was it called? <laughs> What's the faction called? It is called... CC, BG, whatever, and then it's Saint Seducer. CC, BG, Saint Seducer Bandit Faction. One on combat target. Yes, good. That's the first one. Next one. Duplicate, because we're doing it on combat target. Now, this is... Oh, get equipped. Get equipped. On combat target. CC, BG. Oh, blimey. Armor, Golden Saints, Boots. Or cuirass, or gauntlets, or yeah, yeah, we, we're getting there now. This is how we do it. Golden Saint Gauntlet. This is how we do it. Helmet. Yes. Or... No, we won't bother with the shield, actually. We'll just stick to one of those four. So, so much of the modding process is trial and error, as I'm sure you're very aware. So, uh, this is me trialing and erroring. So we've now done get in faction that, get equipped that, 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 and that. 
we've set the stage to 20 make sure that the stage is appropriate so now if when you're at this stage of the quest so what i now also need is i need to check the the actual saints and seducers quest stage so get stage get stage <laughs> done no. Four hundred and twenty. Done. Get stage done. C C B G. Quest A. Stage four hundred and twenty. Equals zero. So if you haven't done that. Got it. Is the creation club condition creations worth it? I know it depends on the creation, but in general, do you think that most of them are worth the cost? If you get them on a sale, I would say arguably yes. At full price, you're probably paying... They're probably... At full price, the value for money is questionable. Because they are expensive for content that is essentially... It's official DLC, but it's comparable to a mod. So the value for them is debatable. When they are on, uh, and also it varies from creation to creation. For instance, the Forgotten Seasons and the Saints and Seducers ones add whole dungeons and stories, which is proper content. Some of them just add one weapon on its own, you know? So grab them when they're in sales or on sale or in bundles or when they're free. Always get them when they're free. Otherwise, your mileage may vary. But... You do, of course, unlock uh, extra dialogue for Lucian when you've got them, uh, which hopefully should add a little bit of value for money for them. You know, should give you a little bit more back for your dollar. Not that Bethesda pay me for that, but you know. Okay, so. I think that works now. I'm going to duplicate that and do a quick, just to be doubly short, this shouldn't happen. It shouldn't ever happen that Lucian would have done his first comment when you haven't done the first stage of this. But I am going to put a condition on it. Just to check. Uh... Read Rissard's note, 200 is done. So check 200, stage 200 is done then we're good would i take a job to go and work at bethesda um if it was one of those uh if it was something i could do from home in my spare time yeah sure that'd be great fun if it was something that was a full-time commitment then no i wouldn't be able to take it because i'm doing a phd full-time at the moment but i'd be very i'd love to work for them in my spare time you know to make a creation club mod or something would be very cool but um but no i'm not i wouldn't be moving to uh to the us to join a company that's not the career path that i'm on Okay, I'm now happy with that, finally. <laughs> uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to get this condition stack. We're going to go to this new line we created. Delete those existing conditions. Paste this whole stack. Change it to make sure this is now zero. And we're going to remove the condition about the note. And all the rest should still hold true. And now we have an alternative line that doesn't mention Rassad. Gosh. That's some awfully shiny armor for a common bandit. Wherever did you get it? There we go. And we're done. So that's two options which should trigger for when you first meet the Saints Bandits and you haven't or have spoken to Rissard. Good. Mm. 
Now we need a line for investigating the bandit camp. That armor, these bandits were wearing, was quite remarkable. Oh, Starrim armor and Dwarven mug club are free at the moment, are they? That's fun. Does the quest check to see if you've opened the note or are just holding it? Um, which note? If you mean Rassard's note, we're checking to see that you have read the note because that triggers the relevant quest stage. What these bandits were wearing was quite remarkable. Let's have let's have a look around. I'd love to find out more about it. There you go. That's all good. Gray's just sitting on my floor now. Why are you sitting there? She's tired. Okay, so now we're setting the stage to 40. And we're going to check. Oh, this is so complicated. This is why I knew I didn't want to do this opening bit. I knew this was going to be difficult. We're going to do... Get stage done. J.R. Lucian C.C. Saints and Seducers. No. Yes. Yeah. 10 or 20 or 30. Any of those I'll be happy with. For him to say this line. Which means he said any of the previous lines. So either he's already commented on reading Rizard's note. Or. He's. um Commented on fighting the bandits or something. Although actually. We probably don't need these checks at all. We probably don't need to check because if you're at this particular point in the quest and you're standing at the bandit camp, chances are there are bodies nearby and chances are if you just rocked up there with Lucy and he'd see the bodies and he'd still be able to say this line. So... Mm, no, we will keep the checks, actually. No, we won't. This we will. No, we won't. All decisions, decisions. No, I'm going to delete them. This could be a new potential starting point in case for some reason the previous lines didn't fire. Okay, good. We've made that decision. 40, 0. Check that this line's never been said before. Good. We're doing a get stage. Uh, no, we're not. We want that to go. We want get stage. Now, what is the relevant stage for this? Uh, get. Oh, no. Okay, we want get stage done's now. I hate working with these. <laughs> get stage done. CCBG, whatchamacallit. Quest A. The stage. The stage is set. No, okay. Uh, and we want to check that. 400 is done. No. We want to check that 420 is done and 425 is not done. No, I've confused myself now. How does get stage done work? <laughs> no, not not work. Just get stage done. Creation kit. Oh, blimey. Brain. Returns one if the specified stage has been completed. Yeah, but what does completed mean? Yes, so if the stage has been set before. Yeah, okay, so 
what I need to have is, it's not whether this objective has been completed, it's whether this stage has been reached and this stage has been reached. So if you get stage done 420, that means we're at this stage. So I want 420. Blimey. Get stage done 420 equals 1. Yes. And get stage done 425 equals 0. No, don't do that. Okay. Butane, I just sorted out a modding problem I had with my mod. Congratulations! Some textures and meshes failed to load. All I had to do was shorten the length of my comically long mod name in the mod folder's name. Well, there you go. It's funny how sometimes things like that are responsible. Oh, that's an interesting theory, Yotam Randor. I couldn't possibly comment. He does say that he sees stars and constellations which uh, are what is commonly reported by people who have read an Elder Scroll without any form of training or comprehension of what it is they're seeing. But you're right. It's strange. Because Lucian does know about what, at least what Elder Scrolls are. Even though he's not been trained in reading them, he does know what they are. But there you go. He certainly doesn't appear to go blind from it, or mad. He seems totally fine. Hmm. How interesting. Lucian is at least 15% shadier than we all give him credit for. Yeah, I, I can support that. Right, now, I was checking uh, that this bit hasn't been done. That bit has been done. The next bit hasn't been done. So you're at the camp. Now I want to check that you're at the location of the camp. That's not a location. Okay, that would have been far too easy. Is it a cell? Is that, I don't suppose there's a cell? No, there isn't. Hang on, Grey just wants to go. Go on then. Okay, I've got to revise my plan, which was to check if he's in the bandit camp location, because there isn't a bandit camp location. Why does my life get so difficult? Okay, so... If there's no bandit camp location... I can't check that. I can check distance? I can check distance from the journal? I can check distance from the bandit leader. That I can do. That works. Okay, good. Yes. I'm with it now. I don't know whether you guys are keeping up with what I'm saying or whether I'm just making funny noises. But if I can check... Oh, but of course they haven't called it anything sensible. They just called it Saints Bandit Objective Marker. <sighs> Alias Saints Bandit Leader Note? Alias Saints Bandit Leader Note. Uh, which is... Alias Saints Bandit Leader Note is... Gonna be a note. <laughs> which is a book. Oh, blimey. Right. Saints Bandit Leader's Journal. Good. Referenced by Quest Balance of Power. This is impossible. Okay, posh to check. Thank you, Avery. Also, welcome to the stream, Avery. Well, good on you trying to draw, Nuna. I can't draw at all. Uh, 
Okay. Right, we're going to back out of that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we're going to do get distance. We're going to do it like this. Get distance. Run on. Quest alias. Oh, it's got to be an alias for this specific quest. Oh, why is my life so difficult? Okay, we're not doing that. <laughs> New plan. Where is the bandit camp? What happened? Something went bling. Oh, thank you for hosting, Art Time Greece. Where is the first bandit camp? Where? Which hold is it in? One near North Brittleshin Pass and another near Fort Kastav. Oh, this is too complicated and difficult. So guys, just to clue you in, in case you're not sure what I'm trying to work out here, what I'm trying to figure out, the problem I'm trying to overcome, is I want Lucian to say this line about finding, um, uh, about having a look around for the Golden Saints clues, but only to say it at that particular point when the Golden Saints are dead and you need to look for clues, but only if you're near the bandit camp. What I'm trying to avoid is this scenario where if you came along, did the quest, killed the bandits without Lucian, then didn't look for the journal and instead wandered off, recruited Lucian, and then Lucian would suddenly say, when you're back in Riverwood or somewhere, um, the moment you've recruited him, we should look around for these bandits journal thing. And that doesn't make sense at all. So I'm trying to condition it to know that you are near the bandit camp with Lucian at the right point in the quest. And the bit that I'm struggling with here is knowing that you're near the bandit camp. Because the bandit camp isn't flagged as a location. Which is a massive pain. So I'm trying to find... Alternatively, there's the bandit leader that I could try and condition. I'm thinking of trying to condition on distance from the bandit in question. Right, well that's bad news, Bard. That's exactly what I was trying to avoid, so I've obviously failed on that front. No, I'm always very careful to avoid modifying the vanilla game in any way, because that allows me to avoid the risk of anything conflicting. So what I'm going to do is go to NPC, Saints Bandit, I want the Bandit Leader. Okay, there's no record for the Bandit Leader. Every idea I'm having today to try and solve this is just failing straight away. Literally everything I'm thinking of trying just hits a brick, brick brick wall. Like there is no unique record for the bandit leader. It's just the bandit. The, what? what? <laughs> How can I condition this? What can I condition it on? Oh, there's got to be something. There's the journal. There's the journal thing, but will that let me condition for distance on it when it's in someone's inventory? I don't think it will. Because it's not spawned in the world at that point. So I can at least narrow this down by finding, if I can just find the general, the hold that it's in. If I can just get the hold that it's in, then I can at least mean he'll only say this comment if you're if you're within the same hold 
as the bandit camp, which is going to at least rule out a lot of other weird places where he might say it. So I think that's a good halfway house, as if I can at least condition it on that. So we know we're in the Tamriel world space. Oh great, this has crashed now. Come on! Nope, just not responding. Arrgh! Every single step! Oh no, we're good. Okay, right. We're in the Tamriel world space. Where are they? Where are these guys being spawned? Leveled NPC. Where are you? Where are you? That's the seducer one. I want the golden one. Where are you placed? Good. No, that doesn't tell me. <sighs> Hydrate. Thank you. Cold tea. Delicious. Uh, I'm just digging through the uh, through uh, SSE edit, um, and I have found a reference for Saints Camp Bandit with note, which is Saints Bandit leader. Now it has. This weird thing for a display name. Telling you what the name is. But. It's not that. That's not what we want. What we want to reference. Is this. It is this particular reference. Golden Bandit. LVL. Golden Bandit Melee 1 H Agro. Oh you can't see of course. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Here's the screen. Now you can actually see. It's this one. Oh, let me catch up with the chat. Lucy and the follower mod, Lucy and the Dragonborn, and my books are connected. Yes, all my stuff is connected. My, um, my books and my YouTube series and the follower mod. It's all set in one shared multiverse. That is true. They share continuity. Crossovers are definitely a possibility. Okay, so we have found the Saints Bandit leader. So I need to check the distance from this chap. So I want to go reference. Uh, no, subject. Oh, blimey. <laughs> now, of course, this I have to leave blank for the moment. And I need to manually populate this afterwards in SSE Edit. So we need to remember to do that. Because I can't do it through the CK. You have to do it through SSE Edit. Uh, unless I can specifically find his reference somewhere, but I can't. So we're going to do that. The distance that you've got to be from it, it's got to be within 2,000 distance units of the dead bandit leader. And if we can do that, then we're laughing. Okay. Sorted. Go me, etc, etc. Wave a little flag. Throw some confetti in the air. Can I get a wahoo? Um, okay. So we know that works. So that's good. As so long as I remember to populate that later. Thank you, Butane Boss. Wahoo, much appreciated. This is the level of supportiveness that, that I expect from you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Batty. Thank you, Shadow Wolf. Oh, I'll take a wowie from Stitcher. Wowie! Thank you, friends. Oh, and a woo from Bard. And a wowie! But let's avoid that other word, though. If that's okay, Grunge and Roses, please. Thank you, Yotam Randor. I hope you enjoy it. Right. So we've done that now. After all that faff, we can now move on to the, um, 
the next one. This has been very slow progress today. So now, when you've got the journal, we'll have him comment on that. Ooh, a journal. Love a good journal. They're always full of clues. Step one of being a bandit leader. Write down your evil plan. Never fails. What is a freckle brush, Nuna? I assume that's a brush that, that, that makes freckles. It's a brush that makes freckles! Amazing! I was right. Right, so now we're doing Get Stage Done. JR, Lucian, CC, Saints and Seducers. 50 equals zero. Freckle brush. It's a brush that makes freckles. Freckle brush. It's a brush that makes freckles. Is it a freckle brush? It could be a freckle brush. Or is it a mole brush or a beauty spot blush? Or an acne brush? We don't know. Get stage. Right, so that's 50. Check. Okay, good. Now we want get stage done. Read the bandit leaders' journals. We're saying get stage done 425. Oh, I forgot there's another bandit camp. <laughs> okay. This one's the first one. And then, then it leads you on to Kinthal. Right. Hang on. So there's both a journal and a note. Why are there so many different paths through this quest? Okay, we're going to go from 425 to 430. This is a nightmare. I completely underestimated how horrible this was going to be to set up. It's like trying to assemble a jigsaw puzzle. Only all the pieces have had the pictures rubbed out. And the only reference image you have of how they go together is a sketch that someone else has done. In faded pencil. while blindfolded and everything's on fire yeah okay <laughs> exactly a singular b <laughs> also you're blindfolded and every five minutes someone hits you on the head with a hammer okay <laughs> okay right so that's 425 that's 430 Done. See you, Yotam Randor. Have a lovely rest of your day. Okay, that works. Yes, F for me. <laughs> Okay, so now, what does the journal say? Hang on. Is it a journal and a note? Read the bandit leader's journal. Books. Saint bandit leader's journal.
Now, this is what I call easy coin. I'm proud to be one of the saints. Every few days, Rassad comes down the road and his wares are ours for the taking. We don't take everything, mind you. If we don't got nothing to sell, he can't stay in business. And then where would we be? We'll just skim a bit off the top each time. Kinthal should be happy with our latest take. He said, I'm leaving Gatnik Carth West and pair visit soon. So you can get profits to drive them up north. Other poet merchants pass through these parts, so maybe they'll stay gone. Right, okay. Kinthal. Looks like we ought to pay this Kinthal fellow a visit. You know, the stabby kind. Right, and this is now 4.30. So, get stage done, 4.30. Get stage not done, 4.40. There we go. And set stage. Now, what was that supposed to be? Uh, that was... 50. And that one's 60. So 50. Oh, no. Hang on. Yep, 60. And set stage. 60! Good! Right, you're exactly right, a singular B. Lucian does get more stabby the more he travels with the Dragonborn. They are a terrible influence on him, but he's having the time of his life, and that's what matters. I think this has been my least productive modding workshop ever. The, compared to number of lines to amount of time spent. It's very slow. Okay, so the next objective, defeat Kinthal. So we're going to have another combat taunt for fighting Kinthal. We were on stage 60, so now we need to be on stage 70. Kinthal. You are a terrible person. Just want you to know that. All clear? Splendid. Well, I hope it's interesting to watch, Ace. And it's an interest- I know I'm groaning a lot, but it is- it's an interesting puzzle for me to solve. It's, it's a good- good challenge. See you, Nix89. Okay. So now we're saying... This particular line only makes sense if Lucian has said... Uh, yeah, if he has said line 60 and he hasn't said line 70, which is this line. Okay, so Bard, just to reassure you, it's not usually this complicated. It's only complicated because I'm trying to do something particularly fiddly today. When you're making your own mod that doesn't have any dependencies, isn't changing anything, you don't have to understand anyone else's quest layout, it does work. Hey, Steel Phoenix, I'll be doing the stream for another half an hour, I'm afraid, and that'll be it. However, I'll be putting it up on YouTube within the next few weeks afterwards when I'm done working through my backlog. And you'll be able to watch it afterwards here on this Twitch channel as well. Hey, Druxy. 
Sixty to seventy. Right. Get stage done. Four twenty. You can always tune in next week. If you want to specifically ask me a question, uh, these streams are the best place to do it. Because I generally can't answer too many modding assistance questions in the Discord. But, well, someone else might be able to help you there. Oh, a question from Jonah D S 36 Hey, Joseph, I know you're busy, but if you have a chance, I created an intro for my follower where you meet him for the first time and recruit him. But once he's following me, I'm not able to speak to him at all when I was able to before implementing the intro. You're right, that is very vague. Um, the reason you would not be able to speak to him at all would be that the conditions are not being satisfied on the quest that your uh, dialogue is being held in. So, I don't know what conditions you're using. Hi, Gray. I don't know what conditions you've got on that quest, but take a look at them and check them. Make sure that they are being satisfied. Uh, this is on the dialogue that you want to be playing. If they're not, uh, then the line won't play. One way to do that is to go through each, almost every condition. In fact, every condition I can think of in the creation kit has an equivalent, which you can type into the console. Usually at the same, sometimes the slightly different phrasings. You might want to look it up on the CK wiki. But if you go in-game to when you're testing it and manually check each of those conditions on the dialogue, you can see how what they return in the, uh, in the console. And hopefully that should highlight to you which one of them doesn't isn't working as you expect it to the other thing to try uh which you should try first is to save the game quit uh sorry no, no sorry, don't quit save the game and reload once after loading up the game in your testing because sometimes dialogue doesn't kick in until you've saved and reloaded once so try those two things as without without having specifics there's not much more i can suggest other than that Okay, so I was checking which stage is the appropriate one for Kinthal, which is 440 should be 1 and 450 should be 2. That should be 0, I mean. Right, there we go. And now, the combat target. Now, I think Kinthal was a unique NPC. Yeah, there we go. Level Golden Bandit Boss Aggro 768. So this is... Get is ID... C C B G. I've already forgotten what it was. Wonder if I can copy this. Does it let me do that? No. C C B G S S S. Okay. And it ends in seven six eight. I mean, it's probably, if, if it's the line won't play after the intro, then um, it'll be in the conditions for your line, or something that happens in the intro causes the conditions in your follow-up dialogue to no longer be true. I don't know what you're necessarily doing for that, but yeah. Right, it ends in 768. 768, 768, 768, 768. Boss aggro. Level Golden Bandit Boss Aggro 768. Was that it? Yeah, boy. Hi, Walking Existential Dread. Best of luck with your exam tomorrow. Hope it's amazing. I'm sure you'll do great. Okay. 
And that sets the stage to 70. Right. That should work now. Happy with that. Good. Don't crash. Yay. Okay. And then search for the bandit. Right, we need to search for the journal now. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Looking for another journal here. Should be able to copy the basic structure of these conditions. Right. Uh, I suppose we better see if we can find another handy journal. Consider my eyes thoroughly peeled. So we're now on to 80. Which was the last stage I created, so we'll need to go back and create some more stages. And we're going to go... Four fifty is done, and four fifty-five is not done. There we go. And we'll do another get distance check uh, to see if we're near the thingy. Cool. And we'll set this one to be the other bandit leader. Great. And that we set to 80 and that we set to 80. Hey, Watcher, we have been working on the Saints and Seducers interaction patch for Lucian. That's what we're doing today. So I guess that's what you've missed. How are things? I trust all is well. Grace just jumped up onto the radiator. That's a good place to sit. Okay, and now I'm not going to bother giving him another line to say, specifically when you picked up the journal but haven't read it yet. But what does Kinthal's journal say? Kinthal, what does your journal say? Right, Thoron, with his lair in solitude. How are you finding Cyberpunk? Are you enjoying it? Aha. Uh -huh. Another clue. Someone named Thoron living in solitude. It's not much to go on, but it's something. And what was he? A wizard. A wizard? Named Thoron, living in solitude. Not much to go on, but it's something. Hmm. And this is now 90. Which we haven't got yet, so I need to go back and set that. Create a bunch more stages. 90! 100! Actually, I'm just going to save there. Hi, Gray. We have a friend. Oh, 
Oh, she's getting on my lap. Oh, that's nice. Oh, they've patched it up, have they? That's good to hear. You guys can't quite see because the camera's not quite angled right for it, but she is just settling down on my lap. Oh. Best assistant. Help me mod. Nope, Lucian doesn't have a Saints and Seducers patch. We're making one now. She's very soft and warm. So I have 110. 120. 130. 140. 150. 160. 170. 180. 90. 200. Maybe you dreamed it, Watcher. They say they love you, Grey. Do you have anything to say to them? No. She has nothing to say. But I'm sure she loves you too. Oh. You gonna move? No? She's thinking. Okay, right. I'll let you know if she has any wisdom. Hi, back from class. I'm Joe. She does do the occasional crime. 90. There we go. Right, 450. I did have to. I, I did. I did have to. I'm sure you understand. Oh, she's up. Where are you going? Uh, so this is now 455. Five, no, uh, 460 is now done. Right, okay. Where are you going? A little crime is a treat. 460. Can you just see the tail moving around? I suppose you probably... Yeah. Right. 460 has to be equal to 1. And... Five sixty has to be equal to zero. Which means we've done the Saints component, but not the Seducers component. There we go. And that uh, is probably fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Oh no, that's got to check that that only we've got. It's got to play in the appropriate place again. So we'll do a get distance check again. Oh, she scratch. Hmm. Okay, so this only makes sense if you've done one of the prior stages. So we're gonna go. In order to make sure of that, I'm gonna do get stage. Done. JR Lucian CC no CC Saints and Seducers stage ten equals one or and I'm gonna put a bunch of these here or twenty and this is just to say that Lucian has said one of his relevant lines before which allows you to have confidence that you've been doing this quest with Lucian and that you haven't just recruited him at this stage and just after you've recruited him, he goes, aha, another clue. If that makes sense. So that's just giving him a whole range of options.
if that makes sense. Yeah, she's off now. Right, good. Okay. And the last one needs to be an and, not an or. This is going to set the stage to 90. We're checking to see that you're in appropriate place. We don't need the distance check now, but we do want to make sure that works. And if all of that works, we've now completed the Saints Bandit Camp component of the Saints and Seducers interaction patch. Almost. Except that there's also... Notes on the blacksmith, which you find, don't you, in the bandit leader's camp. At the first saint's camp, be sure to read the notes on the blacksmith, which begins a quest to unlock golden and dark smithing. I might actually put this one in a different quest. Might be one to address next time. Hi, Miss Blue Gamings. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, no, Shadow Wolf, that's a common problem. It's one that Lucian has. I do my absolute best to condition to try and avoid it, but it still happens. Because uh, it's very difficult to get right. I, I do try to minimise the number of things he comments on that he wasn't actually there for, but it does still happen. Um, and I try and tweak it in each update. But there's always some that slips through the net. There's not much I can do about it. Right, okay. I think that is going to be a good point to park the work that we've been doing on Saints and Seducers. So I'm going to pop us back to this. Sorry we didn't achieve very much in that one. We did come to a good end point, though, which was the point where, um, you know, where we'd done the Saints-Bandits interactions. So we've done that. There'll be This will probably take us several weeks to set up. In the meantime, in all my spare time, I'm working on Lucian version 1.6.0, as I say. Coming soon. Lots of fun stuff in that. Thousand new lines of dialogue. Loads of, I think there's about 80 new custom names. No, 60. 60 new custom names, and they're all going to be on Xbox as well as PC for the first time. Um, oh, thank you so much, Canth VR. That's lovely of you. I'm glad you enjoy my attention to detail. I do, I do try and pay attention to detail because I want it to seem professional and good quality and not give away that it was a mod. Um, you know, it's got to feel like it could be part of the vanilla game. That's always my design philosophy. So, yeah. Um, glad you've enjoyed the stream. I hope the rest of you have enjoyed it too. I hope you enjoyed seeing Grey. Um, Grey enjoyed getting her treats, I think. So that's always good for her. Lucian is less buggy than the main game. Well, he should be because he's not nearly as complex as the main game. So he should be less buggy. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I'll be back on... So just to remind you, I'm back on Saturday for my Skyrim streams. So on Saturday, I've started this thing we're doing where we're playing Skyrim as a new character I've created, Daveth Marvin, the Sneaky Thief. So if you want to experience those shenanigans, do tune in at 7pm UK time on Friday... On, on Saturday uh, for Skyrim Saturdays. So we're doing that. On Mondays, we play multiplayer games together. You're always very welcome to come and play along on Monday. And then I'll be back next Thursday for the next modding workshop and at this same time as normal. And we're just going to keep cycling through that. And sometime soon, we'll have version 1.6.0 out. And then you can all enjoy that, I hope. Working on it as hard as I can. I'll probably do some more on it this evening um, after I've had my dinner before I go to bed. Uh, and I'll certainly work on it tomorrow as well. So, cool. Thank you all for being marvellous. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, wherever you are. Thank you for your views and your support and your lovely commentary and your donations. Those of you who've subbed and donated, it makes a massive difference to me and I really appreciate it. Hope you're all doing okay with all the sort of pandemic shenanigans still going on. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.